We're hearing from one of the people suing Worcester police for excessive force. As WBC's Beth Germano tells us, the man says he was chronicling a protest when chaos broke out. I'm scared of things that I've never scared of before. He was a photojournalist the night of June 1st, 2020. And you can see Cummings here clearly. Richard Cummings on the sidewalk, capturing the clash between police and protesters as mayhem broke out following a George Floyd protest in Worcester. Out of nowhere, they kind of just grabbed me, so they're arresting me and kind of, uh, kind of whacked me around a bit. They took everything from me. They took my camera. Cummings is one of 11 plaintiffs now suing police officers and city officials, claiming Worcester police retaliated against bystanders, all coming after the department's own chief kneeled with protesters before things escalated. Excess of use of force, fabrication on their police reports, false arrest, malicious prosecution. This is video the plaintiff's attorneys say shows an officer stomping on a cell phone. There are pictures of facial injuries and bodily injuries, all against people they say had nothing to do with the protest, but instead were taping the riots unfolding. Cummings insists police made up details of his arrest. Uh, rioting and starting fires and shooting, you know, bottle rockets and breaking windows or whatever, uh, when I was actually right with them the whole time. Attorneys say they have over 100 videos that contradict police accounts and though disorderly conduct charges were eventually dropped. Our clients went over a year having this charge on their record preventing them from getting uh, job positions. Affected my life. It, uh, you know, I was scared to go anywhere. You know, it was it's always looking over my shoulder. What they want now is accountability. We want to avoid this event from ever happening again. The lawsuit is seeking better police training and unspecified monetary damages. Worcester police wouldn't comment. In Worcester, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.